You can change the door swing on the new Ultra Fresh Front Load Washer from GE Appliances and we'll show you how. To complete this task, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of gloves, and the lock bar that came with the unit. Before beginning, disconnect the power to the washer by unplugging the unit or turning off the circuit breaker. Then, open the washer door. While holding the door to keep it secure, remove the six screws holding the door in place. Keep track of all the screws because they will be reinstalled later. Next, lift the door assembly to remove it from the washer and lay it face down on a protective surface. Now remove the door hinge from the door. Begin by removing the three screws which hold the door hinge cover in place. After removing the cover and setting aside the parts, remove the six screws from the hinge. Then remove the hinge from the door. On the opposite side of the door, you will find the door striker. Remove the two screws from the striker. Then rotate the striker 180 degrees and reinstall the screws. Do not tighten all the way. The striker should be loose to ensure proper closing. Now remove the two screws holding the door striker assembly. Remove the assembly from the door by pulling it toward the center, then pushing up and pulling out. Now you can install the door hinge on the space that had housed the door striker assembly. Reinstall all of the hinge screws. Then secure the hinge cover in place with its screws. Now install the door striker assembly on the opposite side of the door using the two screws. On the washer where the door was secured, you'll find the terminal holder. Using your fingers, carefully pry the terminal holder from the washer face. Now carefully remove the pin connector from the back of the terminal, making sure it still extends out of the washer face. On the opposite side of the washer, Remove the two screws holding the lock cover in place. Then remove the lock cover. Insert the provided lock bar into the locking mechanism. Then remove the two screws holding the locking mechanism in place. Using the lock bar, lift the mechanism up to unhook. Then tilt and pull it out of the washer face. Carefully remove the pin connector from the back of the locking mechanism. Now connect this pin connector to the back of the terminal holder from the other side and press it into place. Then install the lock mechanism assembly on the opposite side. First connect the pin connector. Then tilt and insert the assembly into the washer face, lifting up and latching its hook into place. Next, reinstall the screws and then remove the lock bar from the assembly. To reinstall the lock cover, you need to remove the plastic plug and insert it into the opposite opening so it does not cover the locking mechanism. Then secure the lock cover in place with its own screws. Now lift the door assembly and put it in place, lining up the hooks on the assembly with the holes in the washer face. Next, secure the door to the washer with the six screws. Finally, close the washer door. The door should now close and latch properly. If not, double check that each of the steps were correctly performed. Finally, restore power to the washer and run a complete cycle to verify it works properly. For more information about our products, visit geappliances.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates and more.